uh, it was my dad, to be honest. Um, growing up, uh, just going to the park, playing football with my dad and my uncles. Um, obviously, being younger, that's all there was to do, really. So playing football with my mates in the cages, things like that. That's just how I got to love football. Um, how I got into the academy system was quite lucky. I was just sleeping over my my cousin's house who lives in Solihull. And every more, every Saturday morning or something, he used to go to this uh, football training camp with, um, uh, he'd pay a fiver and then you just go and play with them. And because I, I slept over his house that day, his mom took me with him. And while I was there, they were, the managers, the, the coaches there were actually Coventry, um, Coventry, like they were linked with Coventry somehow. Yeah. And then they, uh, then they saw me train. They said, "Okay, come to our training in uh, at the Alan Higgs Centre in Coventry." But it wasn't with the academy initially. It was just with the that version, but in Coventry, the Coventry version of that. And I was training with them for a while. And then one of the Coventry managers saw me training and he just invited me over to train with them. And that's how I got signed for Cove. Um, how I got signed for Warsaw was another lucky break as well. Um, I was just playing football at Power League with my mates. And there was uh, one of the one of the older guys there. Um, he was watching me play, and he just happened to have uh, a manager's number that was at one of the youth team managers' numbers that was at Warsaw. So he just said, oh, "I've got one of their numbers. I feel like you could get in the team. Let me give him a call, see if we can arrange a trial or something." And then that's how I got uh, got trials at Warsaw. So, what sort of things were, were said? They're just little things like they'd say, like for example, we'd be going on the on the bus to Luton. And the lad would say things like, "Ah, oh, because Luton's a predominantly Asian area, and they'd see like an Asian family outside. Like, oh man, look, there's your, there's your auntie, there's your uncle, there's your family, and it's on the coach. You know what I mean? So it's from like everyone. The staff are sat at the bottom of the coach. I'm sat at the top with everyone. So, um, it's, it was in front of everyone. But that it's just that sort of little. It was nothing malicious. It was just kind of that kind of banter. In in, in the group, uh, to be fair, there was a few lads that were also Muslim. They were from different backgrounds, but they were also Muslims, so they had kind of the same beliefs. So I did have a group of close friends. There was a few, they were all older than me as well. So there were some senior pros that were Muslim. So they did uh, make me feel welcome. Um, but yeah, you're right. Like in, in the football culture, like Christmas day, Christmas time, what do they do? They go on Christmas do where you go drink a load, drink a lot, go out every night and uh, things like that. And um, that is a bit different to what, what my culture is, but... It's, you know, you don't have to drink. You don't have to. You don't have to do what they do, but you just go along. With what was the context of that that comment? Uh, first of yeah, all? so we were, uh, we were in training and um, we were just warming up, and um, one of the lads, one of the uh, one of the lads, just said to me, "Ah, oh, you know, Maz, uh, you're something about being a terrorist." And then obviously, I, I laughed off at the start. I laughed it off, and then he said it again. And then when he said it again, um, I commented back like saying something like you're you're forcing the laughter now or you know you, you, you already tried once don't try again just something to make people laugh at him and then he didn't like that and then we started pushing each other and then and then uh, obviously the, the players split up but one of the one of the mem a member of staff was there when, while all this happened so we heard he heard it or he saw it all so I, I expected what would happen was I'd get called into the office maybe after training just to see if I'm all right. Maybe the player would have some sanctions or something. I don't know. Um, but it just all got brushed under the carpet. Uh, nothing got mentioned afterwards. And um, I didn't want to bring anything up because at the time I was trying to play. I was trying to get into the first team. I was trying to get more minutes. So I didn't want to cause any problems, any trouble, anything that would stop me from playing. Um, so I just I just uh, didn't mention anything either um, at the time, even though it was helpful to me because calling me a terrorist, like my family, we fled from Afghanistan because of terrorists. You know what I mean? Um, so calling me that is is a bit close to home. And did did the player concern 